Hello everybody, welcome to this mob wife aesthetic ciao Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, I'm Carolina and uh, today we're gonna be recreating the mob wife aesthetic which is very sultry uh, kind of old money but like in a different way not necessarily old money but like money you know money yeah. okay this is the look and you'll keep on watching I hope you'll enjoy it and in my mind a mob wife makeup look shouldn't take a long time to do it because it has to look very femme fatale somehow very elegant very put together but at the same time know that you can her and that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna do uh, that makeup but very fast very simplified version of it like nothing crazy like the realistic vibe I already applied my skincare my SPF everything I'm not gonna do a primer but I'm gonna do this serum by Darfin Darfin or I don't know how the hell you're supposed to pronounce it now the reason why I'm doing a serum instead of a primer is because in my mind the mobster wife, the mob wife, doesn't have a primer. She uses his, her very expensive skincare products, unlike mine. So we're gonna do the Dior Backstage Foundation in the shade 1W and we're gonna apply it with fingers. Love how this foundation applies with fingers better with fingers than sponges or brushes or anything applied about this much it could be too much but um we'll see and i'm dragging it all over and then i'm gonna start tapping also if i'm not making sense just blame it on the period because i i'm not usually making sense when i'm on my period i think about something and then it comes out in a totally different way and to my in my mind it's like ah it's okay everybody will understand what i just thought about and nobody does so it's okay i'm gonna say that my skin is obviously in need of some more help but that was just to kind of make sure everything is nice and uh, i mean i want my face to look a little bit more equal like skin wise tone wise i'm gonna do some concealer this one from hourglass in the shade cotton and i'm applying it underneath my eyes but a very small amount compared to what i would normally do anyway on my forehead, nose, quick break to blend everything. I'm also dragging my concealer on my lid. I feel like that's quite essential. And now we're gonna do the spots and I have this very big one here. Okay, I have quickly blended the concealer onto my face and I think that it looks somewhat decent we're gonna do some bronzer this is the refi one in the shade June I said it and I will keep saying it it is my favorite bronzer and that it's an amazing shade for fair skin I'm applying it everywhere I mean not everywhere my neighbors are really loud when they are going outside of their homes and they decide to make a fuss in the building's hallway Ugh. when i'm filming how can they how wait till my husband hears about this that they interrupted me i don't have a husband but i was in character i do have a boyfriend though next some blush now i don't see her wearing pink blush pink tone blush i see her in this area where the blush is it's gonna look very natural on the skin natasha denona the puff paint in the shade it doesn't say the shade this one which looks like a contour thingy or a bronzing thingy but it's actually blush i think i'm pretty sure so yeah we're gonna use this one so I just applied some on my hand and now I'm just gonna pick it up with the brush. We'll apply it in the normal areas where we would do blush. Also one thing, I think that a mob wife would be a lot tanner than I am because she's spending her time in summery parts of the world. Um, but we're gonna just uh, imagine that I am tan now and we're gonna live with that illusion, okay? In order to set everything, we'll use this powder from Sai. Say, it's the air set powder, and I have it in the shade translucent. It's very soft. 
it sets but it doesn't mattify the face so that's good I'm gonna set my brows really quick with the 24 hour brow setter I used to love this so much and then I ran out of it and then I bought this one a while ago but I haven't used it ever since I got it I don't know why to be the only product that I would use to do my brows and then I discovered the Anastasia one and then the refi one and then the uh, got to be yellow thing you I cannot even mention the Kevin Aquan one that is insane I'm gonna use the NYX lift and snatch brow tin pen I think it's called in the shade ash brown I'm just gonna lightly fill in some spaces which I find completely annoying but I ooh. What screams mob wife louder than Chanel? I'm gonna use this little palette, I'm gonna go with the darker ones. Mob wife, you know, if she wanna look serious and stuff. But at the same time, we're all girls and we all like a little bit of glitter, gl a little bit of, gl of glitter every now and then. Picking up this shade, my lower lash line. I need the transition shade, so I'm gonna use this one from the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette and it's in the shade Crash. I'm a fluffy brush. So I've applied the transition shade and I also went with it a little bit underneath the eye. This is how it looks now. I think I wanna deepen a little bit more the upper upper lid. We're gonna do some black eyeliner. Going right on the lash line because I don't want to really do a wing or anything it's just curling our lashes a little bit using the bad gal bang mascara from benefit cosmetics I love this mascara too so much actually a funny thing I only used to like mascaras that had this type of one this type of spoolie the lips we are doing a brown from Melchior professional and it's a lip liner pencil in the shade brown I overlined them a bit, but I feel like it serves the purpose. I feel like this would look nice. This is the Fenty Beauty in the shade Fussy. I would say that this is pretty much it. Kind of vibe. It's a little bit of smokiness and sultriness. Glossy lips, but with a brown liner because... Duh. Why not? Um, I have a black... Um, shirt on me ready to go to a funeral whenever it needs to be done it's cute hope you guys like it and yeah i'll see you next time thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great day week you know life